five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> all right, we can... uh, all right. Take two. Yeah. Hey guys. Hey, Welcome. what's up? Uh, <laughs> We're uh, Adam and Andy from HMO Five, and uh, we uh, we thought we'd. Uh, I don't know what we thought we'd Pretty do. much, we're going to kick back <laughs> off. <laughs> we're going to kick off uh, one of the series that we actually had going last year that we kind of just let fade out. Um, so about a year ago, we started up a series called You Gonna Eat That? Um, where we would eat random things we got from like a dollar store or just something obscure from a store that we saw brand-wise or product-wise. Uh, we're going to change it up a little bit. This episode here is going to be uh, Meals for Under $5. Yes, so we actually bought uh, all these items uh, at the Dollar Tree, um, and it should cost about $4 uh, for what the stuff was that we got. So we're going to be making a uh, pizza. Yep. Um, we actually well, we spent a little bit more than $4 because we bought two different options. Yeah. Um, and extra cheese. But um, So uh, we got a thin crust. So the first one here is a thin crust um, uh, like pizza. Inch. Yeah, so it's a... Uh, yeah, it's... Yeah, it's I think 12 inch but yeah it's pretty slim obviously for the thin crust but uh it's actually pretty good size if you want to do something for like a couple people yeah um but then we also got the second yeah. option here uh, two seven inch pizzas and these are kind of regular style crust it looks like it's probably about like the uh same type of crust that you get in uh, a lunchable or something yeah <laughs> just just bigger um and then we found this pizza sauce at the dollar tree as well um, so that's a dollar that's gonna last more than one pizza there so yeah um, we'd probably actually do all three of our pizzas with that and then we got uh, two uh, packets of yep, mozzarella a couple of cheese. The cheese here and um, you want to look and pay attention when you actually go to the dollar store make sure it says cheese on there <laughs> because they uh, pass off something I don't know I don't remember what exactly it was made out of um, but <laughs> they cheese. have like cheese products so it says like mozzarella but it won't say cheese so make sure the word cheese is on the packet because there's some that are like you'll get bigger bags but it's not actually cheese and then uh, who knows what it is yeah <laughs> and then uh, yeah we also got uh, pepperoni it's two packets mm -hmm. of a uh, bunch of pepperonis for uh, a dollar and so this will last us more than one pizza too so we'll, we'll be able to do all three of our pizzas with just these items so it was what six bucks for all this stuff yep. and if we're making a meal just one meal it'd be four bucks um and then you actually have an extra dollar to uh to spend on uh you know food go uh, crazy like uh, extra topping or something <laughs> so which um, you could get they also had uh cans of olives and um other random items that you could actually want to get we're just doing a strict pepperoni and cheese pizza yep. um so yeah i mean you could obviously definitely go out and get an extra topping um, which you can find in the aisles at a dollar store. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start cooking this up. Um, so we'll show you guys some of that and then we'll eat it at the end. Yep, and see how uh, how well the uh, dollar store yeah. pizza will actually taste. See how so. much, how much it's <laughs> tastiness it has and how much it fills us up, I guess, too. So. Thin crust will be a bit, uh, a bit different than what I'm used to. Yeah. But. It's actually better for you because uh, it's not as filling, less carbs. All that stuff. That We're is, both. That is true. We're trying to cut down on our weight. We're too, trying so. to do some dieting. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we'll. Uh, All right, we'll see you guys a little bit later in the video then. I don't think we had to announce that part. We so announced it. Cut. Cut to the next part. It's gonna cut right now. So uh, we found out that the crust kind of smells a little weird, but I think it should be fine. Um, I actually used to work at a pizza restaurant too, so I kind of know how what I'm doing a little bit. So you uh, do an even coat of <laughs> sauce. I like to go a little bit that one's sauce heavy. The sauce smells delicious, by the way. Did you do a smell test? Yes, I did a smell test on the sauce. <laughs> you want to smell the sauce? No, that's okay. How's that smell? I'll smell it. Hey, that smells pretty tasty, to be honest. <laughs> so you just do like an even coat of sauce on here. You get it all the way to the edge. Uh, at the pizza chain I had, they had or worked at, they. Uh, we had like these rings that you could put around the pizza to separate the crust. It seems that's a thin crust. Mm. It's fine. There's also cups for the cheese. The cheese, oh, uh, I guess we should have yeah, got it. You're all good. Your hands were. Yep, and you want to. Uh, natural cups. <laughs> you 
want to uh, get that as evenly as possible across the pizza. So it's that's just one packet of cheese. We could put another one on there if we wanted. But then actually the pepperonis, um, we didn't. I didn't really pay attention to the amount that were in the sauce or the packets, but uh, there was only uh, twelve per packet. So we're we actually opened both of them up. But so, luckily, I mean, you get two per. Two packets per box that you buy, so I mean, you should definitely have enough for what you're doing. So the way to uh, evenly distribute pepperonis on a pizza uh, for this size is you'll do uh, like the four corner or four corners and stuff, kind of like a clock, and then you put three between each one, and then you put four in the middle. And I don't know how many pepperonis I'm gonna have left, so I'm just gonna do the rest uh, as evenly as possible. Looks like uh, we're going to have two on each side. Oh, that's going to work out pretty well, actually. Perfect. Excellent. And then uh, you're going to put it in the oven and uh, bake it for uh, at 425 for 8 but, to 10 yeah, minutes. 8 to 10. Um, I mean, you can kind of judge off look. Um, but yeah, 8 to 10 was recommended on the package. So, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and get that uh, put in the oven. We'll wait for it to bake up. After uh, it baked for about eight minutes, actually. Yeah, it, it, it's looks, on. <laughs> it looks good. So, yeah, uh, so here's the finished product. I can get that a little closer. saw from us pulling it out of oh, the oven. Wrong way. There we go. Such <laughs> footage as that. Yes, Such... the, the amazing footage of it coming out of the oven. So uh, I'm interested in how this is going to taste. Yeah, I'll check it so, out. Um, I think it cooled down enough by now. Not too bad. Yeah. It's a little, it's a little bland, but you know, you can add some garlic salt or um, like Parmesan cheese would be good for it. Oh yeah, Parmesan cheese would probably add a little bit more to it. But yeah, it's really not too bad at all. It's like Adam said, it does it doesn't have a really strong taste? Um, but I mean, for what you're paying for, mm -hmm. it's not bad at all. So yeah, no, this makes a pretty good meal mm -hmm. for under five bucks. You'll have a pizza enough for two people, and. Uh, yeah, and actually, if you want us to take that extra dollar we mentioned at the beginning, you can do um, another topping. Or... You can do another topping, or you can maybe even get some kind of seasoning um, at the store, and you could add that to the yeah, top. Yeah, I'd, add, a, I'd so, add some garlic myself, or um, maybe like onion powder or something to it, to the mm -hmm. sauce. And then uh, for the crust too, you can melt some butter and um, sprinkle that, or put some melted butter around the outside of the crust to kind of make it so it's not quite as crispy on the outside. And then uh, add Parmesan cheese when it comes out. And, uh, oh yeah, that'd be pretty, pretty good. good. So, so yeah, so hopefully you guys uh, enjoyed this uh, meal for under five dollars. And um, um, yeah, we'll be planning to do some more of these. So we're gonna be picking up other items and uh, doing some other meals under five dollars, or uh, just meals you can make from dollar stores at all, all together. Um, so definitely uh, leave a like, comment what you think, and uh, we'll see you in the future episode of uh, you gonna eat that so see ya see ya ow